Hey guys, uh, so Radical over here on Discord is asking the question, uh, how can he take his objects like this and create a set of modifiers so it's going to wrap it around a curved surface? And so, uh, and he also wants to set it up in a way that he can apply this to any object, not just a single object, and do this in KitOps. So let's talk about that. So here we have an object, and I have this decal admissive that I'm going to add onto here. And I'll ha hit this um, add insert, and I'm going to drag it right on the middle, and I'll hit the S key and scale it up a little bit. And you can see that it's not wrapping at all. But if I look over in the modifiers for this, I'll see that I've got a displace, a subdivision, and a shrink wrap. So let's go to the subdivision, and <clears throat> if we look at our wireframe, we will see that this does not have much in the way of a subdivision turned on. You may want to make it so that the actual subdivision is actually at least as dense as the surface that's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that at four. So now we have that correct. And don't forget the optimal display is what's going to allow you to see that. I'll turn off wireframe. The next thing we want to do is we want to look at the shrink wrap. And what we need to do at this point is we're just going to add the target. So we need to basically put the target. So we're going to use that as our target. And you can see immediately we get a pretty good match. Now I can also do a little bit of an offset, but the offset's pretty much set. Long story short, this is a great example of an object. Now what if we have another object that we want to put on there and we want to wrap around there? Okay, here's a logo. And uh, this particular logo has no has no uh, modifiers on it. So I'm going to basically take this and I'm going to add the insert here and I'll put it right on there and I'll scale it up and we'll see it doesn't have the modifiers. If I go into modifiers, it's just got the displace. And so what I'll do is I'm going to select this logo and then I'm going to go over and select this other logo right here. And once I have both of them select, I'll go to object, make links, modifiers. And once I do that, you'll see that it works perfectly. So the key here is you're going to want to create at least one object that has the different shrink wrap and subdivision modifiers, and then you can basically attach it to this one. Now, one other thing I'll mention is that notice you can see a little bit of a shadow here. And the reason for that is if you look at this particular decal, I can come in here and because this is a kid ops decal, I can jack up with the, the grunge amount and I can pull it back. And then I can also adjust the displacement. There's another thing I can do if I don't want to use this decal grunge, I can use, I can leave the displacement alone and just come into the materials and under, instead of alpha clip, I'll just say alpha blend and it works perfectly as you can see. And this one's already set to alpha blend. So, uh, and here we can, of course, change the color to anything we want and do some other things with it. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you uh, want, I'm going to save these files and put them on my Patreon. So there you go. Bye.